But before we start, like, what do you call We just have a tar. Patwa. No matter what it is, we just have a patwa. But I'm and the first person who changed into American tone out and have to start over. So, make we talk, patwa. Welcome back to Mama and Mission. This is my co-host Alex who is going to be a sore loser because he don't know how to talk patwa. So, I try my best in hold it. So this is my co-host. You already know me. So say what you have to say. <laughs> Time out for what? Time out for what? Talk. <laughs> Talk, okay. Nina, stop, talk, talk. Okay. okay, okay, what? Talk something. Where do from morning? Where do from morning? I. The, the moment you say I, you're wrong. Where you do this morning? I don't know how to talk. You don't know how to talk. You understand me when I talk like this? <laughs> You don't understand what I'm saying to you now. You lying. You don't know me, I said? Yes. I, I can't really like, say it. Right. Talk something. Talk a sentence. Now, talk up. I try to get the people in what they want. They don't want to hear what I talk now. No. Big, bad American. They want to hear the big, bad Jamaican song. <laughs> I don't know. It's just it now come on. I don't know. Whenever I'm with like parents or adults, it just doesn't come out. Because every time I was with you in Jamaica, we would know. But I can't. I it just I don't know. It's just like disrespectful in some way for me. Not really. It 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 is honestly like, and I think I'm gonna switch back. I think that we in Jamaica growing up people thought that Creole or native language was or is because there are people who still believe that it's people who use it they talk really bad anybody remember talking Patwa at school or at home and you say I chat too bad I chat too bad it is broken English it sounds some kind of way but it's our native language and he has always said to me that he thought that if he spoke patwa to me he was being disrespectful or if he spoke it to his dad he was being disrespectful his dad really barely speaks patwa anyways but country me come from i'm from the country for the people who don't understand what i just said I'm from the rural part of St. Elizabeth, well, like, so I speak Creole. I, I, I don't know. It's, I, it's feel like, I, feel, I feel like it's the... Oh, I feel like it's the... Because like, you were police and my dad was a police. And every time I could come with my dad, I would always like try to speak proper. And then you would be like... Well, because I didn't really like speaking Creole around. Like any adult, like in Dahlia and Shelly, mm -hmm. I don't even think I did it with money for jail. Either. No, you didn't. You honestly did not speak Creole at all, and that's why I'm trying. I'm trying to have you talk it right now, but I'm not getting it. Uh, no, I, for, it's like even if you tell me that it wouldn't be disrespectful, I just still can't. I don't know why. It just can't come out. Can't come out. So do you think you can speak it with your friends? If your friend should ask you talk Jamaican, do you think you would be able to speak it to them? At least like a 34% chance. 34% okay. chance. So, um, so why you can't say it now? Do you not remember the words? Or, well, no, I, like I, I said, you have never really, guys, if you hear noise in my background I'm sitting in the front of my yard <laughs> so the street is literally right there 
so it's just cars passing but it's so nice and pretty today so we decided to make some videos before the daylight goes away yeah so like I was saying um he's never talked Creole before and I don't know why and Creole was spoken in my house every day my cousin spoke Creole my my like my friends spoke like that but this little boy never spoke Creole there's somebody behind me who opened my curtains just now <laughs> did you see it somebody moved the curtains anyways guys um yeah there are people in the house so yeah so um I guess my son, I can safely say that my son does not know how to speak Patois to me. To you. Wank, wank, wank. Alright, so like the last time we went to Jamaica, I was with, I was with my old friends over there. And they were like, why don't you speak it now? And I'm like, I tr like I would try, but I didn't I didn't want it to, to look like bad. But like I, I still wanted to at least try a little. Mm -hmm. And then at some point I would just like stop the bottle to do that. And then normally we wouldn't really well Alright, so let's let's go like back, like back. Mm -hmm. Let's say maybe I was in like, third grade. No, not even third grade, like second or first. No, you was you were at a at a prep school, so yeah, in second and first grade. So, so you really did not speak it then. Yeah. There all right, so at that time literally everyone around would speak it. Um, and I would I would I think I would speak it there. I wouldn't probably speak speak it to the, the teacher right now. I would be a bit more formal to the teacher. And even when I went to, I, I don't think I told you, but when I went to, I still remember, when I went to Naga Head, um, we... Naga Head Primary School. Primary School. Um, I went there and the, when I first went there, like the first few months into the school, the teacher really liked me because of like, my like smart, how I spoke, mm -hmm. and like, the penmanship, but she said that the penmanship was like slowing me down. Yeah. Yeah, but like, especially this one time when I asked to go to the bathroom, I, I was like, well, may I go to the bathroom, please? And she said like she she would never hear that with the other kids. And then she even she even like called me out kind of on that in a good way because when I was up there, she was like, you see class, you need to be more formal or something like that with people. So I guess that's how I just kind of motivated me not to really speak to like that because I if I would speak to like that, um, I would like say the wrong I would be in the wrong place. Say so, yeah. it's it's a touchy it's honestly a touchy topic because like in Jamaica people really don't appreciate the language and it's so crazy in America when you are here every other country they're speaking their own language and they don't care so I have like it, like I said the reason I talk in this manner is because I have different people on my channel so I, I you know I just want them to understand exactly what I am saying but I usually switch back and forth but if somebody asks me to speak in Patwa I know how to say it I know what to say I know when to say it you know but it goes back like oh this is what I was saying it goes back to our schooling like once you're told that speak properly it means don't speak the language and usually once you speak better than another child it's like they look at you as though you're smarter quote unquote smarter yeah. than the other kids and sometimes it's not the case you know I believe that we as Jamaicans in Jamaica need to embrace our culture some more and embrace the language some more 
can get what I'm saying. If I'm in a store and I don't want anybody to know what I'm talking about with people, because Alex understands what I'm saying, but he just doesn't speak it back to me. I switch. I switch and I talk. I talk my pot talk. I talk my pot talk because. Sometimes you go into a store, other people from other cultures, they don't want you to hear what they're talking about, so they switch their language. And I feel so good to know that I know a second language or a third language because, you know, we were given Spanish in school <laughs> as, a, as another language. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful that we actually have another language. So, it sucks for my son that he doesn't, you know, know how to... He understands it, but he doesn't really know how to put it across to an adult because of how he was cultured from school. Not from me, because like I said, Pato was spoken in my house every day. I'm a country girl. Big up St. Beth, the best parish in the world. No, in the world. Now I get the world mm. in Jamaica. <laughs> the best parish in Jamaica. If you have a problem with that, comment, subscribe, and share. <laughs> so guys, this is the end of our little discussion. If for those mothers or parents out there, you like to know how we are as mother and son, you know, what kind of relationship we have, how we have this great relationship at his age, and because he's a good kid. I can tell you, he's, he's a one of a kind. He's a very good kid. So if you would like tips on how to help your own children stay in line, you can also comment, you can ask us questions, ask us whatever questions you want to ask us. It doesn't matter where you're from. We are here to help you and we are here to listen to you as you give me suggestions, give us suggestions to help us also. Um, in my last video, I told you that we have some great news coming up. We have some awesome vlogs coming up. But you have to keep watching to hear the great news. Keep watching. It should be dropping in about two weeks. So you will get the vlog before it actually happens. Thank you very much, guys, for watching our channel. Please subscribe to our channel like our content and, and share it. You have to say anything before it comes up? Really? You don't have anything to say. I'm just gonna say I'm gonna stick to one. Actually no, I, I really wanna like learn another language. <laughs> and one language I enjoy because like now I, I thought I would enjoy French and whatever. But I feel like because of how the classes is like now nowadays how the classes are how the class was and how the class operated, how the teacher operated, I kinda of like grown away grown away from the from French wanting and like having the urge to learn. I feel like there's a little bit Spanish. Learning. Spanish is a very yeah. good language to learn and we can learn it together. And so guys Oh, you were saying something? Oh, sorry. and I'm saying like a language that I feel like if I, if the, if the environment is good, the area that you are learning the language, the new language is good, if it's good, then I feel like you would have more success in learning it. That's true. Yeah. Some of my friends are those type of people that like They don't fall in Chinese, because Chinese and Japanese are different. Way different than you think. The, like, the, um, the stuff that they do, especially, the, they're more Japanese people. Oh, they like French or, or um, they're Chinese or Korean. Okay. Even though they're kind of in the same area, mm -hmm. yeah, they're different. Okay. Yeah. You want to close off the vlog? And I have and uh, share. And that's all from us this week, guys. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Peace out.